Hello friends, we're going to go ahead and review Viper Internet Security Software. I am at the download page right now, and I will post a link on the description of this video below for this page if you want to go ahead and download the free trial. Alright, so once you download the free trial, this is what it looks like here. Now Internet Security has a lot more features than just the antivirus alone. If we take a look at the page here where you download it from, it looks like a uh, in the comparison here, it looks like Internet Security actually has auto patch, two way firewall protection, anti intrusion protection, anti spam, and bad website blocking. And the regular antivirus program does not have that. But they both have Social Watch, which is a feature to actually um, scan the links on Facebook. They have Search Guard which actually searches whatever links you're about to open for example on Google easy install of course that's their um, Viper has been known for being really easy to install they actually sell it from a USB flash drive I don't know if you guys have seen those late night commercials of Viper but they do sell it on the USB flash drive which makes me wonder if you buy it can you turn around and use the flash drive as a storage device I wonder <laughs> All right, it's got anti-spyware, both of them. Low performance impact on your computer, that's good. Active protection is always on. And email and instant message protection. Now let's go back to the, so once you download and install the program, this is what it looks like here. And really easy to use, it's got these tabs on the top so you can navigate the program. And it looks like it, um, it puts everything here for you. If all your, if all the, check marks here are green that means your computer is protected if it's red or yellow I don't remember what color it was then you have to do something about it alright we take a look at our scan uh, status here it'll tell you your, your last scan and your next scheduled scan alright if you want to change your schedule when your computer scans go to the manage tab and click on well, right here where it says schedule scans go ahead and click on view schedule Right now it's set for Sunday at 11 p.m. And actually I recommend that time. But if you want to edit it, go ahead and click on edit. And here you can change it to whatever day you want, whatever time. And it'll do a scan automatically at that time, every time. All right. Let's go back to the overview. Uh, protection. Active protection is always enabled. Email protection is enabled. It's something just try to get through. uTorrent. It says there's a Trojan there. I'm going to... I'm actually downloading a couple of things off of um, a torrent website I will have to take a look at that myself later but if, if you download torrents and let's say you're downloading a key gen it might pick it up as a Trojan so be careful with that perfect example right here alright so when, if you're downloading torrents Viper might be a little oversensitive and detect what you're downloading as a Trojan alright alright back to the program so protection is enabled. Make sure these two are, are always enabled. If it's not, click on settings, and this is where you can enable them. All right. If you catch a really bad virus, it might actually disable them. But those are re they're really really bad ones. All right. Updates. You can go ahead and um, click on current. If it says current, you can still click on there to see what current updates you have. But it pretty much. Uh, updates automatically but if it doesn't you can always come here and click on check for new definitions it'll start checking like it is right now if, if you want to make sure you know I always do that I don't always trust the automatic uh, update checker now we're gonna have to wait for this to go through alright so it looks like all definitions are up to date there's no definitions available alright so it, this program also comes with a firewall and right now it's enabled and also a web filter which is enabled if you want to scan your system, you click on the scan tab, and Viper has the selection of quick scan, deep scan, or a custom scan. Custom scan, you can go ahead and scan Windows Registry, scan cookies, scan or scan the following folder, and you can browse for whatever folder you want to scan. For example, you download a torrent and you want to scan it. Um, this is what you would use. Let's take a look at the firewall here. You can always view the settings of your firewall by cl clicking there. That's a little advanced. I recommend just keeping it default settings. You can look at the statistics of your firewall. You can go ahead and look at the connections, what's going on, what's coming in, what's going out. And you can take a look at your firewall history if you're trying to look for something specific. It will give you a really, really long list, so 
um, this feature is really hard to use sometimes. That Trojan uh, popped up again, that's from uTorrent. If you do have a potential uh, harmful file, it will keep bugging you until you actually take action on it. All right. And this is always active, this firewall history right here. All right. So you can go ahead and manage your quarantine options by clicking on the Manage tab. You can look at your history. You can manage your history, manage your quarantine. You're always allowed programs. You can add some. Your scheduled scans like we looked at a while ago, your updates, and your auto patches. Auto patches are for your um, software that you have installed on your computer. It'll look for newer updates for your software, which is nice. That's really cool for Viper. That Viper has. I have never seen that on an antivirus program until I started uh, reviewing Viper. It actually takes a look at your programs on your computer and sees if, it, if they're up to date, which is really cool. Really nice. I give a plus for Viper having that. All right. And Social Watch is where you can actually look at your news feeds on Facebook and see if you have any malicious links going coming from there. And of course, you got to sign into your Facebook if you're going to use this option. All right. And it's scanning right now actually. It also has a source file eraser where you can go in there and shred your documents. But be careful if you actually go in there and and erase a file, you won't be able to get it back. All right, so there's no going back from that. Let's go back to the tools, and you can also uh, use your PC Explorer, which will identify apps and files in your PC that may be suspicious. All right, that's pretty much it for Viper. It really does uh, meet the expectations that I was uh, hoping it would. It has so many tools to use. I like that social watch because sometimes um, hackers post links on Facebook so they can get your account. And it happens a lot of times. So Viper does protect against that. I like their scans. They do have a deep scan. Not, not a lot of antivirus programs have a deep scan. And that, that actually searches for rootkits and for really hard to find Trojans that like to hide really good. So I give them a plus for that. All right, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more software reviews. If you subscribe, I'll subscribe back to your channel. Thanks for watching and have a good rest of your day.